Okay. She completed Mampong Mampong in school for the deaf in the nineties. She can't actually remember the days. And she just have to feather it at B. B. Okay. After completing my uh, uh, crapping mampon from school for the deaf, you just have to feather it and square it. B. Okay. There's a deaf school at B. I think Bichim. So it, she was into vocational training. So my dad was also there on campus with, with her. So sometimes dad have to help her to tissue some stuff. When she doesn't know, that will help him out. So after completing school, dad was asking her to pay him a visit. So he followed that to his hometown. Where, where is that hometown? Achra, Sunyane. Just have to visit dad and his family, Sunyane. There's a place called Cha. So after meeting the family, the, the, the mom was forcing him to sleep over. So she slept over and she left dad and she went to his place. Where did your parents? Where did you? Okay. So okay. That's where uh, his parents live, so we just have to go back and be with the family after a break. <laughs> so after, okay. So you started having a relationship with, okay. So after uh, visiting that, paying a visit to that at Cha, that's where the relationship started. So because they have been knowing each other for so long, so you became pregnant. Okay. Came to his house and visit her too, but she never knew she was expecting she was having a baby. So one day, his mom called him, called her and asked, "Edit, hey, you are pregnant?" He said no. So he was denied. So she went back to school. So the mistress called her and and asked her, "You are pregnant." His parents are away. He, just, he said no. So they have to call his parents and call that parents to the office. So the, uh, the mistress will ask both of the parents if they are aware that their students or their child are having a baby. So your family accepted? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, the parents have a little meeting, a short meeting, mm -hmm. and and his parents and dad's parents had a short meeting. So after the meeting, they, ne they, ven they never knew what they were discussing. So after, was uh, dad's parents was taking care of uh, uh, her. My dad's parents were, were taking care of her, taking her to hospitals. Hospital. So even you stayed with Okay, okay. So mommy, his, his parents left and it left her and his... Okay, so you started staying stay with her, okay. So she began st staying with my dad, Achra. After noticing uh, she was expecting a baby, she was forced to stay with dad Achra so that they can take care of her. Take care for her. Okay, okay, my, my, my dad was um, a corn mile. I don't know how Nikanika. They usually corn. Yes, corn. That, that was the work dad was doing at home. So, so, so. Okay, it all begins with sign language. So dad works. Are, are you sure you, you will marry me? Mm -hmm. I said, oh yes, I'm faithful, I'll marry you. I said, are you sure? 
Except that is an issue. So she accepted the proposal. She accepted the proposal. Did she love me very much? Do you love me? Yes, please. She do love him. Because sometimes when dad feels ill, she have to support him by washing his clothes or cooking for him. They always exchange helping. She she help him and she also he also help her. That's what they been doing. <laughs> No, mm. she has never regretted. What did she want to? What did she want to become? What did she want to become when she was in school? Okay. Mm. Okay. She wanted to be a, a seamstress. Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay. He at home. At home, he was into hairdressing, and she just have to enter into the vocational school and further it up. So you had the hairdressing and the okay dressmaking and hairdressing. That was his dream work. Okay, so after completing uh, the vocational school, they were given uh, the sewing machines and the tools, the items to start their own business. So what are the regrettable moments? Since that became, uh, got the, the, the glaucoma, that's where she started to be disappointed. So she always have to hold that hand to the bathroom and also hold him to where the toilet is and hold him back. So it seems she's been the eye for my dad. So that, that's where the disappointment starts. Okay, because sometimes that become angry and feels like uh, he could even die because of the pain. He is deaf and also added a glaucoma, which also causing problem in his visually situation. So sometimes he became very angry and feels like the world he never existed in this world before. That, that's where I'm, I'm forcing myself into. Uh, I want the whole nation to consider their situation. So it's, it's very difficult. Sometimes if our TV, even the volume goes off, and I can, I can only see the, the, them, them speaking without hearing the, the, the voice or the sound, I even get annoyed. I was very disappointed. So if in their situation, they are to watch television without no interpretation or no interpreter, mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes they, f they feel it very difficult. So they always have to depend on someone else before they can hear news. That's why I'm hoping maybe in future, future we, we can establish an institution for more, uh, sign language interpreters so that we can have more interpreters in this country. <laughs> For Ghanaian movies or the black movies, I've been only comedian and those stuff. So as for Indian movie, he he is very he wished in watching uh, Indian movie because they always do actions, fights, or even the how they relate. So he, he she dislike Ghana movies so because it's full of funny and jokes. That's for Indian movie. That's where even if he viewed it, she viewed it, she can uh, imagine what what's going on.
to find solutions. And you like Kumba Jaja too? Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But obviously, the question is, can technology save us from climate change? Sometimes. <laughs> In Ghana, uh, when, when, when they die, they are, they are supposed to be buried on the ground. That's for the Indian, they will bury the person, bury the per person, like be having an offering, giving an offering to God. So they, they will bury, so sometimes she becomes surprised and would like to know why they are into doing this. Mm -hmm. One thing that I'm always proud of my family is they have never regretted being deaf. They have never regretted being how God created them. Uh, sometimes I even push them to, to visit uh, like some of the pastors. You know, we've been seeing most of the pa pastors doing miracles. And I would tell that, wouldn't you like to visit one of the pastors? He said, no. God knows how and why he, he created him this way. So he's so proud of it. And the family is always faithful to each other, especially my younger brother. He always obeys me. Even when I'm not a man, I go off to work. He would just have to interpret. If I, I was to be here, I would do the same. So my younger brother do the same thing for the family. And we all do our best. We will do our best, but it all starts. Uh, the, the the biggest support is from dad. My father did all the hard work. He always motivates us. He wants us to reach the level that he couldn't reach. Do you regret being in the? Mm, when I was young, I, I regretted. I, growing up and understanding my family because most of my, my friends mock me sometimes if I call dad or mom for PTA meeting I just have to sit by my dad and while the PTA is going on I have to interpret for them they will say ah, come now. with your teachers we did this subject it was very cool so you have to left the classroom and interpret for your dad I said no that, but most of my, my friends also motivate me they are always happy to see me and most of my friends always come here and visit us because they want to see how I interpret, I sign, because it, it seems so wonderful for them. So you were not taught, you were born, I mean, as a sign language. Yes. I, I wanted, I didn't even want to learn the sign language, but dad have to force that in us. Because if even you go for school and your bills are given to you, when you come, dad won't even pay you the money. You have to interpret for him to understand was the money he's supposed to pay to you. So you can't just <laughs> say you can't interpret, so you won't collect your fees and go and pay. So I just have to sometimes have to break it down. So if I go with what he will guide me, this language is not doing this way. It is done by this way. Sometimes money, we do money that this way, fees, bill, you just have to give us the minor minor. So he was he gave us one of his signing books which he brought from the Man Ponting school, school for the Deaf. That's where he attended school. So we have so many books that we can sign with. So we started with that sign language books to, in order to guide us. So uh, let's look at the issue of the TV. So uh, how do they watch if you are not around? What station do they watch? Most, most They usually watch GTV. That's where, you know, GTV, they have a, a sign language interpreter that's been, yes, I think, a smaller size video that he will be interpreting for them. And you know, because of the size, mom cannot see all. So sometimes you just have to s interpret what he's, he, he saw or he sees. So when I come around, he will ask me, you have to ask me again, I saw this, is it true? And I, if it's not that fully interpreted, I have to give him further interpretation but if it's okay i'll say yes i even heard it i've heard it on fm and so it's okay okay he watched it on gtv so i cite gtv if it's not for news 
if, if it's for news, they will always watch GTV. And I say GTV, mommy likes Indian movie, Kumkumbagia and those Indian movie stuff. Kumkumbagia, what, who, how does he, who interpret it for you? My, my, my junior brother does the whole, uh, sometimes I came out and he's, the, the TV is on Kumkumbagia, I just have to go out. I can't st stand it because, <laughs> I know even me myself. I don't understand the movie, so my my younger brother also followed that movie. He's, he's he knows it from the very start, where the story began. So interpreting for mom is so easy for him to do it. But me, I I have never watched the movie before, so I just have to interpret what I'm seeing. So sometimes I'll be going where he say no, you don't understand the story. Let Kobe come and do it for me. So we 